Yeah, we just we just caught it. You just got it. Oh. Yeah, it was running around on the ground. Oh really? Uh huh. Cannot fly. Can't fly. It needs to go to the veterinarian. Oh. Directing it towards the net. If the hawk is over there, I'm gonna catch it like that. Oh, is that what you're gonna do? I figured it would be flying towards your pole like last time, but it's not gonna be flying at all. Uh oh. Is it an injured hawk? Yeah. Do you want to tell us what's happening then? The golf course at Logan University called and they've got a injured hawk on hole number seven. So we're going to go try to capture it. They sent me a picture. Somebody got pretty close to take the picture. So it really is captured or injured and not just sitting on prey. So let's go catch a hawk. Let's go catch a hawk. We need to catch a hawk. <laughs> Hawk rescues never come at the convenient time. They come at the most inconvenient time. I got up early this morning so I could get everything done. I got all my work done today. I went home and I took a nap so that I could be up and ready for the Pokemon Ditto event today at five o'clock. I got to the Fenton Park at five o'clock. All my peoples were there. We started playing and then an injured hawk. This is a once a year Pokemon Go Ditto event. Well, you know, if you're gonna do rescue work, you gotta be willing to just drop everything you're doing and go rescue whatever needs to be rescued. That's the one thing a lot of people don't understand or think about or realize that if you're gonna do rescue work, even when it's inconvenient, you gotta go. And the golf course had called two other places. One of them, a very prominent place, and the other two places that they called said, no, we can't. But they called Wildlife Command Center and we said, yes, we can. We said, we can catch it. We said, yes, we'll drop everything. Even the one time a year ditto Pokemon Go event, we'll drop it because we're going to go catch that hawk. Hello? Hey, Nick, it's Michael Baran with Wildlife Command Center. Hi. Hey, we're out here to uh, capture that hawk. Um, we're just now pulling onto the campus. Um, I've never been here before. Pulled in, uh, there should be a lake. Is it on the left or right side of you when you came in? Right. Um, I think it was on the right, but we went okay. past that. All right, well, we're gonna swing back down toward the thing. Um, I got my videographer with me. We, uh, we always video the hawk rescues for our YouTube channel, so. Uh, He's gonna be running around with me and I'm mic'd up just so you know. Oh, I see your truck. All right, I'll, uh, we'll be there in just a minute. I appreciate you here. So it actually hopped across the road, but sitting, see that yellow box down across the road? Yeah. It's like 10 feet to the right of that. You can see it. Oh it's yeah, really... I see it over there. Um, um, it's like hopping around. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know if you wanna go and park over there. I mean, it technically huh. is in that person's backyard, so. Probably, um, yeah, because that's a hike from here yeah. to there. And so it's just running on the ground? Yeah, it's like, you know, it can, it'll spread its wings, but it can't fly. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. just hopping all the over the place. All right, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go swing over there. I'll just park on the side of the road over there and walk across. That sounds good. I'll probably just walk over there. All right, see you over there. I have a feeling you're going to be doing some running. Maybe so. Oh, you got plenty of battery. You got like 85% battery Go left. Go ahead and just roll it. So uh, anyway, we were way over there by that truck. And uh, the hawk is about a quarter of a mile over here. So we're going to run it down and catch it. See how this works out. Well, that's a big one. Yeah, it looked a lot smaller in the picture, certainly. And it's banded. Well, that. And it's banded. It's a banded bird. Well, that went so far a lot easier than I thought. Probably the easiest hawk capture this year. <laughs> well, we'll see how he treats you here. Uh, he's pretty lethargic. So what does the band mean? 
means this bird's been captured when it was a juvenile. This is a little male, it's an older bird. It's also got some bleeding at the mouth. We'll take him to the uh, World Bird Sanctuary and see what's happened. I think he's been hit by something because he's got a little blood around his mouth. Okay. You know, but this is a banded bird that was banded a while back. We'll, uh, we'll run the band and uh, see where it was banded at. Okay. Yeah. What's the point of banding them? They uh, track the health of the bird and the movement. And mostly, though, they want to see how long they'll live. Okay. You know, it's a, uh, if you want to text this or put this in your, uh, your phone, you can, you'll probably be on the internet before I do. <laughs> Yeah, it's a 2187 so 09278. And it's uh it's called rap oh it's called report. Oh it's reportband.gov. So it's R E P O R T B A N D dot gov and the number is 2187 dash zero nine Two seven eight. So our subscribers can actually go to reportband.gov, type in the band number 2187-09278, and you can find out for yourself where this bird was banded. But we're going to get it to the hospital because it's pretty lethargic. Do you do any uh, wing examination on him at all? He's uh, he's very, very poor. So he just needs to get to the vet as quickly as possible. That bird? We're gonna take the bird to the vet, the veterinarian. Oh. Because oh. he's hurt. <laughs> you got a wild, that's a wild. Yeah, we just, we just caught it. You just caught it? Oh. Yeah, it was running around on the ground. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Can't fly? Can't fly. It Can't needs to go to the veterinarian. Oh, it's been hurt. Somebody called you, right? Somebody yes. Called. Uh -huh. The university called us. Call. Okay. Yeah. You have a good day. Michael's like, listen, I got Pokemon Go to get to, okay? Give me answer hey, questions. How How easy was No, actually, I want to get there before the, before the uh, hospital closes because this bird's not going to make it overnight. It needs attention right now. And if the hospital closes before I get there, I'm gonna be sad. Hey, it's Michael Baran with Wildlife Command Center. We just uh, we just picked up an interesting patient for you. Very very, very old male red tail that has been banded, um, and it's running around. It's got an overgrown beak but its eyes are clear, it just can't fly. Okay. So we're, we're en route to you. Okay, um, our city will probably be closed when you get here, but if you just give us a call, I will come meet you out there. Okay, we'll be there, it looks like in okay. 27 minutes. Okay, awesome. All right, thank you. Okay. So. That seemed like an incomplete conversation. Yeah, you know, you're communicating a little strange right now, I'd say overall, you know. Are you thinking about anything with this? I mean, obviously you feel like the bird's in pretty big distress currently right now. Yeah, the bird's in bad shape. We're just a few minutes away from the uh, World Bird Sanctuary over in Valley Park, Missouri. And I'm really worried about this bird. It really, really needs attention tonight. Um, so they're gonna meet me at the gate and they'll give us a patient number. And once it gets checked in and checked out, then we'll be able to follow up with it and get you guys an update on how this bird's doing. Hopefully, just needs fluids and a little bit of TLC, and it'll be okay. But it doesn't look good. It doesn't look very good at all. Caution, live raptor. And I hope he stays alive for a long time. If all goes well. Send good vibes in the comments. I know everybody doesn't like video. A lot of people don't like being on video, but it really hurts my feelings that the World Bird Sanctuary doesn't want to be in our videos.
I wouldn't want to be in your video. You look sketchy. Oh, somebody told me that today, for real. <laughs> you look sketchy? Yes. No, I'll tell you the story. <laughs> hey. All right, you have a great day. Thank you very much. Appreciate you staying late for me. Oh, patient number. So anybody can that watches the video can call and check in on him. I'm sure they'd love that. Hey, it's publicity. To think I was potentially gonna like go out and try to have a normal life tonight. I'm really glad I didn't. You could have. I would have done all this with the iPhone. Wouldn't have been the same. You're welcome. You wanna come say hi? This is a Q-tip. He is an albino wallaby. It's your Wildlife Command Center YouTuber, and I've got an update on this red tail hawk rescue that we went on just a couple weeks back. Ooh. Okay, Tyson, you're getting big. So using the patient ID, I called in to the World Bird Sanctuary yesterday, and they didn't have good news about this particular red tail hawk. They were able to take a look at it and get x-rays and they found out that it was actually blind in its right eye uh, and it had a pre-existing wrist fracture that may have had something to do with why it wasn't flying, it wasn't doing well and resulted in its emaciated state. I mean you guys could probably tell in the video Michael was really concerned about that hawk and sadly with rescue work we can't really get immediately to a bird without it being called in and seen and reported. Um, we just tried to do the best within the circumstances that we're presented with. Now because it was blind in one eye, um, it can't successfully be released back into the wild. So it was humanely euthanized, which is not the result uh, anyone is ever looking for. Q-tip's really interested in the camera. This is bad timing, this is serious. Interestingly enough, since it was a banded bird, uh, that red tail had actually been treated at the World Bird Sanctuary in years past. It had a leg fracture and head trauma previously from an incident, and they were able to re-release that bird back into the wild. So, you know, sometimes you have great results and sometimes you don't have the results you hope for. You're really nibbling hard right now. Can you? Hey, I'd like my arm back, please. Please and thank you. We're honestly really fortunate to have an organization like the World Bird Sanctuary near our headquarters here in St. Louis. They do a really good job and they legitimately do care about the birds. They give world class. Hey, mucho te easy. Just got my ear pierced by Loki. We honestly don't have enough nice things to say about the World Bird Sanctuary. I mean, their staff is great. Their medical care is world-class. They're winning one of the leading institutes in the United States. So to have them so nearby our headquarters uh, in the St. Louis metropolitan area is a blessing for sure. Michael is currently on an emergency animal call and that's why I'm filling in the details for everyone here. He did send me off a text while I was filming this outro asking me to dig into the band information a little bit more and I'm kind of coming up empty. Uh, so you guys have the band information. If uh, one of you more experienced falconers, someone that have a little bit more uh, knowledge than me, you know, I've only been in this game now. Uh, for nine months, so I'm still pretty fresh to the scene. Leave us a comment. I'll pin something below if I end up stumbling into something within the next few days here. It's really been fulfilling becoming a member of the Wildlife Command Center family. One thing that I've really loved about working with Michael over the last nine months is he's walked a really strong ethical line in every situation regarding animals, the suffering of animals, helping them, rescuing them. There just hasn't been one question during that time period and it's been uh, very gratifying and given me a lot of peace of mind that I'm really working with someone that knows his stuff and is doing the best by all the animals that we encounter. And I can say with confidence that the World Bird Sanctuary definitely does the same. We really appreciate your support. Check out their website linked in the description. If you guys want to support our raptor rescue efforts, you can go ahead and click on our Wildlife Command Center coffee link. All the proceeds from our coffee sales go to helping future rescue efforts. And thanks for subscribing and watching. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next video.